Uh, on the other hand, say, saving the, the city hall at any cost, there's no really such thing as any cost. I mean, it's not, it's not like if we were to sell that and uh, rent or own another building that we're going to save that entire $160,000 a year. It's impossible. We might save some, but how much? I mean, let's say it was 25000 a year. Is that worth getting rid of City Hall for? Not to me. I think, I think we're a long way away from that point to even consider that. At this, I don't think the committee's anywhere near, near doing that. Joe, Joe what, what is to stop your committee from having Mr. Guy Chano come in and, and just look at I it? I would like to see somebody come in and just give us a, an estimate of what needs to be done. At the, why at the why can't they? Why, why can't Mr. Guy if, if we can't get him to come in, get someone else. I mean, it's... Well, uh, who's shopping you? I mean, I, just Mr. Gaetano was stopped because they, they believed there was a conflict of interest with him. And that's, uh, that's well, what Well, you know, sometimes in things like that, it's better to bring someone from out of the area. Then nobody can squat. But what we really need to look at is, is uh, what it's going to cost to stay there. And, and what we can do like, to increase, co increase revenues or decrease costs there, I guess, either way. But what is the $160,000? What are you talking about? Well, what is 60, that? 60 of its heat. 60 something, I mean, with heat, heat and electric. That's a lot of money. 60 up for heat and electric. Mm -hmm. How about the roof? Has that been repaired? No, the roof needs to be replaced. Replaced completely? I think it's time for a new roof if it's going to be kept. So, what, what's the price tag to fix it? Uh, we don't have a price tag on the roof. Uh, we don't have a price tag on the heating system. What would it cost to repair? We, we probably would need the windows. Mm -hmm. Uh, the windows are the wood. Now, uh, they've done a good job of trying to keep them up. Don't get me wrong. Uh, They've had people in there when, when, the, when the casings go bad fixing them and everything, but you probably would need some kind of a new insulated glass window or something in there. To, and, and, uh, and you're going to need to zone the heating system. And uh, I believe the uh, electrical system needs some up upgrading. I'm not sure exactly on that. But, but uh, if we could get a price on that, and then, like you said, if, if, there's, if there's a committee that wants to go forward to try to raise some uh, local funds for that, ah. I don't object to that. I don't want to go on what I said to you again. It's, it sounds like I had no heart, but I don't want to go out and lay off a policeman or a fireman or something. Right. Just to, just to heat a building or keep a building yeah. that we can't afford, no, you know, that. that's all. I mean, no. that's where I'm coming no. from. Yeah, but, but, and my point is, too, though, that if you, okay, you can't save the whole 160000 so let's say you save 25000 you can't. You can't hire another policeman with twenty-five thousand. I mean, you can do something with it, obviously, and it's it's a savings, and it's not something to sneeze at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you have a phone call. I don't know who it's going to take it. Or sure. Okay. okay. You have to put these on, Brian. And we got about okay. uh, five minutes left because uh, okay, we got five minutes. Let's, okay. let's take one phone call. Then one. Good morning, UAWCSS. Is this for Jane Weaver or Old Man Isabel? <laughs> I got so oh, sorry. Here we go. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Go ahead, sir. Okay, uh, Joe. Yeah. Joe, there. Yeah. All of it is about yes. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, and Joe. Mr. Weaver's here also. All right. Uh, this city hall. That's it's starting to become a, like a polit political football here. We were supposed to maintain this building since day one, and and we and, and it was our failure. Now you can you can if if, if there's certain rooms in that. Uh, City Hall that you can rent out, maybe the rent will help take care of, uh, sure, okay. of the, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, a new roof and other things. Uh, you know, so uh, I, I don't know what the people think for, for next year, uh, Joe, but I, uh, uh, I think City Hall should stay right where it is, and uh, we maintain the building. But the mayor, who, who a lot of people are tired of me criticizing the mayor, I don't know how much money we put in uh, for the Rose Garden or how much money we put in for... Uh, the carpets in there, and uh, uh, I, I think the building is a beautiful building, and uh, uh, and, and, it, and it should be maintained. Uh, uh, you know, uh, later on you'd have to worry about even if you left, uh, we'd, we'd have to pay rent then. Uh, you for know what? For what? Right. For what? Yeah. For what? Right. So so we we have to. Well, pay no, don't say right. I ask you. You say we have to pay rent. No. What do we have to pay rent for? Because because it wouldn't be our building, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be? We're not going to buy a building, are we? The, the, the determination, and I'm going to no, say, that, not, no, uh, again, not to be not to be controversial, but there is also a question, of maybe building is building a new building. Yeah. So, but you know, well, no decision, decision has been made now. So, so if, uh, Sam, if we moved into say a building that Mr. Tessero owned, we'd be paying rent. Okay, and you're talking about, but, but no decision has been made as to where to go. There will be a brand new building. Joe, there's so many things that are going on in, in, the, in the city. I just, I just went by. I didn't see the sense of something about overtime.
you worried about overtime costs. Yes. Aren't there things that are more important than worrying about City Hall at this time? Well, I, I'm the one that brought that up. That, that Mr. Isabel and Sam, no one else brought that up. That You can blame that on me. But my, my point is still, where can we rent or buy a building for 63 and a half cents a square foot monthly? You know, I could, you could say the same thing, uh, Joe, going back to, a little bit to the Chalmers building. If we had taken control of that building 30, 35 years ago and said, wait a minute, they might have, maybe asbestos was not a big thing then. But, I mean, it, it, if it was, you could have said, well, we might have an environmental problem. Actually, maybe been able to sell that building 35 years ago, and then we wouldn't, wouldn't have any problems about that. I mean, what's the status of that building? I mean, is it, we, we, we it's had coming have, down, it's coming down. Yeah, yeah. that's what they say, but, uh, I mean, you know, we had to have a ch small change in the uh, administration for hopefully that will happen. Okay. Uh, hey, okay. Chuck, hey, Chuck, the one thing I agree with you on, yet, when I really do, when the phone call got out, when, I, when we got off the air, it's just, you know, really, why am I making such a big issue of this right now? We've got so many problems in front of us right now. We have a lot of problems to face. Many, many problems. I don't, right. I don't think this is a major issue at this time. I don't think it's going to move forward very, very quickly. Uh, I, I, I'm sure that it's not going to move yeah. forward very quickly. We have a lot of things on our table. All right, Chad, thank, thank you. you. Okay, right, thank you. What, uh, what is the story? We've got a, two minutes or so. Yeah, what's the story? Is the committee still meeting? The, committee, the last thing the committee did was do the tour. There has been no, no other meeting scheduled. We, we're coming into budget right now, so I'm sure that... Uh, there won't be a lot of committee meetings coming up forward in the next few weeks or a few months, a uh, couple of months. Okay. And uh, like I would like to do, and I'd like to take both of your advices on this, is get somebody to give us an estimate mm -hmm. of what needs to be done there. Yeah. And then, and then at least we've got something in front of us that we, you know, that we can look at. So maybe we can come up with somebody that can come from the outside to do it. Or I, I just don't want to. Spend, the mayor didn't want to spend any more money. Neither did I. So. Yeah. Basically, that's why. That's why I picked. To Ralphie, but if we can find somebody else that can do the same thing, I'm, I'm open to that. Maybe some some engineers, some contractors around here would would just volunteer to give a maybe, uh, this, maybe the new right. city engineer can mm -hmm. give us. There you go. We have a new city, city engineer. He just came on duty, but like I said to you after I got done, I I, I did feel uh, that you know, uh, and, and again because I was kind of upset that the issue came up now and there's mm -hmm. so many important right. things going on right now. But that's that's why I got upset the other well, day. Well, it was something I've been. Uh, going around my mind for months, but I do want to say one thing before I go, and that is I, I really appreciate what Mr. Tesoro has done for Amsterdam, uh, that this mall is not empty like it was for a while, mm -hmm. and I also appreciate what Mr. Isabel has done for the city. One of my uh, good memories and my children's good memory is the Christmas decorations that he used to put up every year, Oh yeah. and also going to his house on Halloween, and my kids... <laughs> Always had to go to his house on Halloween Always. because they just didn't get a piece of candy. They got something really nice. Always. So I, I guess I guess we both have the city at heart and diff just a right. different way. Exactly. And, that's, and, and unfortunately, sometimes we clash like that. Right. But I uh, want to say that uh, we have a lot of major issues to look at right now, and I and we'll go forward from here. We're going to keep. We're going to keep. Uh, okay. Good. It's just a mild. We agree to disagree mildly. Right. Okay. And yeah. we're going to follow up on it. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's what we'll do. Let's get let's get the estimate next. Let's ha let's try to do that, and then we can go for that. And we're going to invite okay. you back. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Right. Dan, thank you very thank very you. much. Happy New Year to you. Good you. luck with your with the book hound right. on East Main Street. Okay. Go down and go down and buy some books, everybody. That's oh. <laughs> okay. We'll take a break, Joe.